Finding your Minecraft world folder on Bedrock for Windows. How do you do that? Well, first off, if you just want to back up your world, we can click play here. We can click the little edit button next to your world. And then we can click at the very, very bottom, copy. Now, what that'll do if we click copy world is it'll create another version of the world in here. But this is pretty messy if you ask me. And honestly, it's hard to manage all these different copies of these worlds, right? You can also export worlds from here. So if we click this, scroll down and click export world. It gives you an MC world folder. That's cool, but what if you want to access the raw files? Or if you're like me, you just like backing up raw files instead of like that export world button. Well, to do that, all we need to do is minimize Minecraft and then open up the run app. You can do that by clicking the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, bottom of your screen, or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in run. You have this run app. And then in the run app, we want to type percent sign local app data percent sign. So percent local app data percent exactly like that, all one word, and then click OK. That will open up your local app data folder. And in here, what we want to do is scroll down to where it says packages. So if we scroll down, we want to click on packages. And then in here, we want to find Microsoft.Minecraft UWP underscore a bunch of numbers and letters. So if we scroll down, right there it is. Now you might have to look through these because there's a bunch of them, right? A bunch of different stuff. But we want Minecraft UWP underscore 8 W-E-K-Y-B-3-D-8-B-B-W-E. Whoo! Basically, if you find Microsoft.Minecraft, that's probably the correct one. Open this up, and then in here, what we want to do is navigate to the local state folder. Then we want to navigate to games com.mojang, and then finally, Minecraft Worlds. This is the world that we have over here, right? This is the My World world. How do we know this? Well, when we open it up, we can actually open the level name.txt and see that it's named My World there. This is what you can back up. So if you could right click this, you can copy it, and then you can paste it on your desktop, right? Like so, and that's your world backup. So we could rename this to My World Backup. Now, if you ever wanted to reinstall this, if you just drag this in here, it won't necessarily work. You need to open this up and make sure you're dragging the raw files and folders into here. For that reason, it's also probably important to make note of what this right here is. So you can either, you know, rename this folder back to this and then create a new folder and move it, or you could just name a new folder the same thing as that one. But nevertheless, you can then back up your world completely off computer even if you wanted to. You could take this file, move it off your computer. If you wanted to add in resource packs manually, you can add them in here. If you want to add in behavior packs manually, you can add them in here. That can all be done now because you know how to access your Minecraft world folder for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Nevertheless, if you have any questions about how to get to your world folder on Bedrock Edition, let us know in the comments and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Also, be sure to check out our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting, at the first link down below the breakdown.xyc slash Apex to start your very own Bedrock Minecraft server with plugins, with add-ons, anything you want, quickly and easily. We love Apex so much that all of our Minecraft servers are hosted on Apex Minecraft Hosting. And on top of that, at Apex, you have 24 hours, 7 day a week support who can help you out if you do have issues. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. We'll see you in the next video, and I am out. Peace.